Hey guys, today's the day that I'm gonna be diving into this Mustang to try to rip every single piece off of it. All the trim has to go, all the components, every body panel that's fastened with a screw or a bolt has to come off. So let's dive in. The teardown's going pretty well. I've got a lot of the interior out already, in the back anyway. All the back trim, the sail panels, the side uh, trim panels, obviously all the rear seat pieces, the fold down rear seat pieces and hardware. I've even got the gas tank out. Uh, that was a little bit of a trick. I had to use the floor jack and a piece of wood. Pulled out the, the lights, the bezels over here, those are all out. So that's working pretty good. Um, yeah, it's going pretty smooth so far. Quick little update, I'm gonna now dive in. Oh, I also have the, the dash out, the, the dash trim pieces. Now I've gotta get the steering wheel column, front seats, bunch of stuff like that. Making progress. Okay, I've made a lot of progress, guys. I've got, as you can see, all the fenders off, all the grill stuff off the front. There was a bunch of trim up here that had to go. I've got both fenders, like you see, completely off, and now I can get a real good idea of uh, just getting access to all these other pieces that still need to come off. Uh, the battery tray over here, some of these hoses, uh, the back of the heater, the master cylinder, a bunch of the steering linkage that's all got to come out the column i still don't have out yet but man it's starting to look like a bunch of parts rather than a car now as you can see from the inside i got it pretty much taken apart the big stuff still the column as you can see steering wheel that stuff needs to come out and there's a bunch of little brackets up here that can come off so they will come off um i've got the fenders sitting over here the hood the door panels, all the interior pieces. There's the lower fascia to the front right there. Uh, there's a bunch of trim. I've basically just been pulling it all apart. Let's see, I'll show you over here. Here's the seats. Seats are actually in really good shape. Those don't need a whole lot of attention at all, which is nice. Um, here's the grill, here's the headlights. What I've been doing when I pull stuff off, because again, I know a lot of these parts, but when it comes time to put stuff back together, even though I'm gonna be replacing a lot of the parts, I've still been putting everything in a bag and labeling it. All the screws that come off of a particular thing, I would write a little note and put it in a Ziploc bag and uh, every time that it's an interesting part that maybe I'm not super familiar with, I would do a piece of duct tape and tape it right to the piece so that I don't have to rely on my memory when it comes time to put these back together. Again, even though I'm gonna be replacing some of these things, it'll be an easy reference point when I do have to order new parts to double check that the part that I receive is the same part as what I pulled out so that there's no funny business. So that's what it looks like. Still a lot of work to go, but absolutely making progress. Little by little, slowly but surely, 
This is gonna be all the way torn down into just the single unibody car that I'll be easily able to media blast or acid dip. And I'm real excited. The windows still have to come out. All the window trim, the wipers, there's still a lot of work to do, but I thought I'd give you a quick little snapshot of what things look like right now. And we'll go from there. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. If you have any tips on anything I should be doing a little bit differently or any uh, um, way to keep better track of the parts that I'm pulling off, let me know what you've done that might make it easier for me. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it.